Okay, to power on the machine and the load ink by software. We power on the machine. When the machine power on, first the carriage back to home position and the table must be moved to back set. When the table go to back set, it will automatically stop. Then back to home position. And the cap station moving up and moving down and then up again to keep weight. And the wet ink checking system is working as before. So this is well after we power on the machine succeed, then we open the control system, alpha jet control system. And connect a USB cable with the computer. We double click the Focus Alpha Jet Control software and open the control system. When the control system system is running, now we can see that we can see that the carriage start to move up and move down. They move up again to to uh, to lock the printing head to for keep weight. And when we open the control system. And if we can see if you connect USB cable with the machine, we can see here visual print connected. That means the print head, uh, that means the print was connected with the computer wire. And also we can see here some icons. And here's for file, for load picture for print. And this for click file for print. And stop, stop print, pause print. And this for do not check for some test print. Cleans for cleaning print head. And flash is for uh, for uh, flash on and flash off. When you click on, the visual on here. If you click off again, it will show flash it off. Flash it is for here for uh, make the print head uh, flashing for keep keep clock anti clock. When the print head not not print, if it print a little bit of ink by certain frequency like sixteen to flash a little bit of ink out at the cap station to keep to prevent the ink dry without printing. And when you click off, the cap station may move up to keep weight. And here is for on, it's for moving down, and we click again, it's for off. The cap station may move up to lock print head. And here is mo you move the carriage to the left, move the carriage to the right, and the feet is for move the table to front, and move the table to backward. Up down is for if you choose control the alpha jet by, by buttons, the signal cable by buttons method. So here is not working. So if you trans transit the control the control method by software, so it will be control the table up and down. X home is to move the let the carriage back to home position, to the right position. And the Y is for move the flap it to end. And Z is for down. Maximal. So Z not choose is uh, is not useful. It's not using for uh, for object. Okay, here so it's the then we go to load ink. So we go to the setting and we choose we find the parameter and we go to here choose fill ink and if the first time to load ink we choose all of them and we start and here head one is for white. Head two is for color print head. Head three is for varnish print head, and head four is not using right now because alpha jet maximum we put four print head, a uh, three print head. So the option four is not working right now. If you choose all all heads, so um, the the clean pump will will start to load ink for wet color varnish three print head totally. Okay, then we click all and then we click start. So here must pay attention. If you click start, it will not automatically stop unless you click the stop again. So, so the first time we load ink from the ink damper to print head, uh, normally we click start and waiting for about 
at 30 seconds, 30 seconds, then we click stop to stop the blood ink. Here, please, please remember, must stop by your hand again, otherwise the pump will, will continue start to pump the ink to run out the, the ink from the ink bottles. So we can, okay, we go to click start and they click then stop to start to pump the ink from the cap station. And cap, and cap moving up, down, fan position and moving up, then what color varnish ink pump keep pumping ink, pump the ink from the tank, tank, the tube, then go to the ink damper, then go to print head, and then go to cap station, and then go to the pump, pump, pump in, and pump back to the waste ink bottle for each colors. We keep pumping about one minute. If you are the first turn, first turn to load the ink to the machine. Then we go to the software and then we click stop. And now the pump stopping. And waiting for the software back to normal, we need to do a small cleaning after we pump the ink. Please, please remember, every time after you fill the ink, we need to do the cleaning, normal cleaning for all heads to wipe the ink. So this is the Cleaning procedure. First, uh, the pump working, the pump the waste ink. Then moving back to pump the waste ink again. Before it's pump ink, pump waste ink. Then pump on, pump down, up the wiper, wiper the ink. Then going down for flushing. Then up. So now we go. To, we're going to check if the ink is uh, the ink is going out or not. If it's the ink is not going not go out, we need to maybe the print head is not installed where or the cap station not get the good good position of the print head. So we need to align the print head position and lock the print head again and then adjust a little bit of the cap station position. Normally, the problem will be coming about from the print head location, screws, the screws to loosen or to tighten. So we need to check if we must be sure all the ink seem working wet and varnish all are coming to the cap station. Okay, so after we load the ink from the software, the first time then we start to clean the print head. So remember every time after we load ink from software, we need to do the small cleaning, head cleaning. So we go to the software. And we go to clean and we choose normal and all heads to start clean. The cap station moving up. Then the pump working to pump the ink out. And waiting for several seconds. The cap station moving down. The pump the waste ink out, and the catch move out the vapor moving up to vapor the waste ink. And if we can see the wet varnish coming, and the color ink also coming, and flush a little bit, then the pump the waste ink out again, and cap station moving down for flashing. And if you click on the flashing, the capstation will moving down. And if you click off the flashing, then the capstation will moving up for keep weight to protect print head clock. So after we do the cleaning, we can start to do the test print. <laughs> 